for joining me for today's weekend astrology lesson we've been looking at Uranus moving through the houses and what it means for us all and today we're looking at Uranus through the second house what that transit will bring you when you go through this so before we begin just a little bit about Uranus in general Uranus is um, this I've talked about it in the classes before but if you've missed them I'll just give a brief overview again Uranus is this planet sitting right here in fact it's the only planet on the board at the moment funnily enough but Uranus is a little bit odd and therefore Uranus rules anything that is unique eccentric unexpected and unusual and the reason is uh, as above so below meaning whatever is out there in the universe visually often translate to what translates to the energy we experience with that planet or body or sign whatever it happens to be um, so Uranus is a bit odd and a bit eccentric and a bit unusual because it spins on its side every other planet spins around and around and around Uranus spins on its side so it actually um, goes uh, through uh, like a, it's got an 84 year cycle to travel all the way around the solar system so for half the time the, it's got one side facing the Sun so that one side is warm ish depending how I mean how warm can you get when you're a bazillion miles out from the, <laughs> the Sun but one side faces the Sun the entire time and then as it comes around turns around the other side will face the Sun so it's got this two seasons and they last uh, 42 years long each <laughs> poor old Uranus but very unusual eccentric planet and therefore it's energy as is the same it is unusual it is unexpected it is different um, and any Uranus ruled people can tell you that they will be something of the rebel that they will be unique that they will be you know quite genius like quite um, innovative quite exceptional quite unusual in the world and if you've got Uranus in the first house in your natal chart it will give you something very unusual in your appearance something a little bit um, left of center or odd or you know distinctive not I'm not saying uh, ugly or unattractive by any stretch uh, but very different looking something memorable and unique about you so um, Uranus when he does a transit through well as you know um, I'll, I'll just explain for those who aren't aware we're born with the planets in certain positions in our chart and uh, they don't stay there the planets keep on moving around the solar system and as I mentioned before Uranus takes 84 years to go all the way around the solar system and as such um, he spends only seven years at a time transiting through each sign and for most people he will only do that once in a lifetime so if you were born say with Uranus in Taurus like that you're only going to have one experience of what it means to have Uranus in Virgo or Uranus in Libra or Uranus in Scorpio it'll happen once it'll last for seven years but it'll be a once in a lifetime seven year period for you and you'll never experience that again um, wherever Sat uh, Uranus goes he brings liberation freedom he wants us to know authenticity and truth to be um, honest to ourselves you know reveal us our, our true depths our true inner nature the soul within us that's often hidden by our busy lives or our you know the focus in the Western world on material things or you know we we get distracted from our true authentic selves or we we feel that our true authentic selves have to be squashed because they don't fit in society and Uranus says no way Jose we're gonna shake that out of the tree you know you're gonna change whenever wherever he goes he brings change he brings altered states but with the purpose of liberation the purpose of freedom the purpose of um, allowing you to be true to yourself and to know your truth so in the last lesson we did last week um, if you joined me for that one and if you didn't it's on my YouTube page you can check it out there we talked about what Uranus brings us when he transits the first house the house of the body so in this lesson today we're going to be looking at what Uranus brings us when he transits the second house so let's just talk a little bit about the second house the second house sits below the first house so just say cancer was your first house Leo would be the second house and I use whole sign astrology where each sign represents 
a house and for those who aren't aware a house in astrology is a, a realm of life it's not like you look out at the sky and you can see a dividing line it's not actually a physical tangible thing it's a mathematical calculation um, houses that, that divide you know the sky into signs in whole sign astrology and each represents a certain component of our lives. There is a house for pleasure and joy. There is a house for sex. There is a house for career. There is a house for children and so on and so on. There, there are houses for every facet of our life. So um, the second house sits below the first house. So it's considered that the second house is what supports us in life. The resources that we need for living the income that we need to make also it's representative of our own self-worth I mean if we have no sense of self-value um, and, and, and respect for ourselves well, we don't get very far do we we've got to have self-respect self-honoring but we also need resources like food like clothing shelter warmth we need um, uh, so physical tangible world things the possessions that we have are seen by the, the second house. Collections of things like, you know, collections of art or a fancy mirror collection or, um, you know, maybe a car collection. You know, collections of stuff are seen by the second house. Um, also, any well, anything you can touch, taste, see, hear or smell and have ownership of is a second house thing. It's also the money that we earn, the way we can earn money in our approach to finances can be seen by the second house in our chart depends on what planets are there what sign rules it and so on so what does it mean when the Uranus which keeps on moving around the sky and is this planet of rebelliousness of change of eccentricity what does he do when for seven years he moves through our second house related to all these possessions and money and, and self-worth and self-value well we'll get to that in just a second um i just want to explain currently uh, and as i'm recording this it's december 2018 um, in 2019 march the second uranus will move into the sign of taurus so if you are aries rising you are about to undergo a seven year transit of uranus to your second house if you are Pisces rising, this is me, you've been experiencing for the last seven years the transit of Uranus in the sign of Aries. So you have had, or you're, you're concluding at the moment, your second house transit of Uranus. And it will never happen again as long as you live. This is it. It finishes for you, finally, end, end of it all, on the 2nd of March 2019. Now, if you are Aquarius rising, you will have gone through uh, the transit of Uranus to your second house, which is the sign of Pisces, about seven-ish, give or take roughly, seven-ish years ago, that transit would have ended for you. And it would have started seven years before that. So I hope you're getting the picture of what it means, like who will be having a second house transit of Uranus at the moment. Um, basically, you, you know these areas are the most recent ones <laughs> and these are the coming uh, signs that we'll be having a Uranus transit to the second house so you can actually have a Uranus transit to the second house um, at any age it's not and I've said this in the, the previous video um, but for those who didn't join me then um, it is something that is not like a midlife transit or a Saturn return where it happens for everybody in the world roughly at the same time at the same period of life no in this case this can happen to you when you are two years old it can start or when you are 80 years old so it, it really it, it, it's not um, dependent on it being a certain age so um, scrap that idea it can happen at any time so if you're familiar with your chart you can look ahead and say okay seven years time Uranus is going to be finished going through Taurus and then it's in Gemini oh that'll be my second house so this is if you're Taurus rising um, it'll be your second house in seven years time so you can get a good picture um, that way and it's not dependent on what age you are so let's have a look anyhow for anyone who's Aries rising, you're going to be going through Taurus, uh, sorry, Uranus transiting Taurus 
uh, for the next seven years and what is this going to bring you well I can tell you all about this because I've just gone through it myself just grab my notes um, it's about breaking boundaries that, that's what Uranus does in general wherever he goes he's about sticking it to the man I keep saying that but that's the ultimate saying for Uranus in the chart and uh, in the natal chart as well as transits he's about saying no way Jose not doing this anymore not good enough um, he is breaking boundaries but this time it will be to do with self-worth and um, how you value yourself so I'll give you an example from my previous my transit that I've just gone through for the last seven years um, when this transit began I was in a job that was paying the bills quite nicely actually I was comfortable but I beca became a bit um, uh, frustrated with the lack of financial uh, opportunity in my life even though you know life was settled um, I became I became frustrated with the lack of financial opportunity in my life and this is also a quality of this trans that you will become unsettled with fin the, the lack of financial opportunity that you might be experiencing um, and so I sought to find uh, a job that paid better and I ended up um, finding a job that paid really well and I was astounded that I even got this job and it changed my life completely it didn't last now this is very much the nature of Uranus actually it brings changes but it's sudden and electric like it rules electricity so it brings sudden electric unexpected almost change which is what happened to me with this higher paying job bang I got this new job and suddenly our world changed dramatically made us we had to move to a different city um, our whole lives my children and I our lives changed but the job didn't last um, as is the nature of Uranus um, things happen suddenly and they end suddenly so the job lasted about 18 months and then we we're in this new city with you know a whole new dynamic that we hadn't expected um, that uh, you know left us in a, a totally different state financially so your finances will go through a roller coaster ride over the the transit of Uranus to the the second house and um, and this was a breaking of boundaries for me regarding my self-worth because I had always felt like well I'm really just only suited to janitor roles you know Pisces rising where uh, never value ourselves as much as we should um, unfortunately but um, I you know I'm, I'm only really you know this level you know I've, I yes I've got a master's degree and yes I've had a lot of work experience and life experience but really I'm only worth earning this much and so unfortunately that was the perspective that I had and so Uranus was like no way girl we're gonna change that for you and we're gonna break this boundary you've got regarding thinking that you are only worth a certain thing and and that boundary was utterly broken when I you know actually decided well I'll apply for some jobs I'll just see what happens you know I don't expect to get anything but gosh I want to change my financial circumstances so we'll just have a crack and see what happens and surprise surprise uh, Uranus said let's break some boundaries regarding what you think you're worth which was great actually pity it didn't last but it was great <laughs> so we can gain insight with this transit into our own merit into our own value um, we we actually spend a lot of time through this transit um, learning to value ourselves and our human experience over and above our possessions and who we are materially in the world so it, it can be very confronting for a lot of people who have placed their value in material objects you know maybe you're a car man and um, you've always been into cars or whatever and you have this transit occur and suddenly for whatever reasons you have to sell your cars and you've got no cars and well, well who am I without my cars without my you know that that material acquisition that was me um, so there can be a lot of conf confronting kind of experiences in that regard but it's really good to develop freedom from belongings actually um, you know I actually moved three times during uh, this seven-year transit which for someone who's very settled uh, or has been in the past quite settled like me was moving a lot you know um, and I'm finding the older I get the more the Uranus in my chart plays out and the more and more and more I move <laughs> Uranus has conjunct my moon um, but up until that point I had been quite settled uh, residentially and um, 
yeah I moved three times in a period of seven years and each time I you know as you do when you move you go through your stuff and you're like oh my god I don't need this anymore throwing that out okay sending that to the salvos putting that on on um, Facebook buy swap and sell I'm just getting rid of this stuff this junk that we don't need that we've been carting with us for years um, in some cases so there was a, a, a purging that occurred for me um, but you know the, it, with that comes this freedom um, of attachment to belongings and identifying yourself with belongings and it might happen out of necessity um, for example I gave the illustration of somebody who had to sell their cars um, but it also can happen voluntary, uh, voluntarily as it did with me saying oh, I don't need this stuff anymore and it's just junk that I'm carrying around for the sake of junk you know um, so there's, there's Uranus brings freedom wherever he goes and he can free you from the need to associate yourself with your possessions and to accumulate possessions um, you know we um, we, with this transit, we can. Uh, it, Uranus is about detachment and being objective, and so we tend to view ourselves and our self worth with more, and our possessions for that matter, with more objectivity and more detachment. So, um, you know, we can see where we've been identifying who we are with our stuff, and we let go of that. We release it, and it, for me, it happened in quite a natural way. It was. Um, yeah it was a beautiful release it wasn't painful at all and I haven't missed any of the stuff that I've let go of to be quite honest so um, most people who follow my videos are aware that I have been quite heavily involved in the rockabilly slash vintage scene for a number of years and as you do when you're part of that scene you do tend to collect and hoard quite a lot of stuff just for the sake of having the stuff so you know I, I think I had at one point five vintage couches stored in my parents um, unused old farmhouse like who needs five vintage couches really um, but this sort of thing or you might have a collection of books that you know you just they never read they're just gathering dust on the shelf and they're just there for the look of the things um, so you can you can you know I had a lot of stuff that was just not useful but I had them oh yes I've got an Ames um, uh, armchair or I've got um, you know a, a collection of 10 vintage mirrors oh what you've only got eight you know not that I was that sort of a person but you know you, there's this this element of I need to have stuff to prove my worth and and unfortunately I do adore the vintage community but that can can play out sometimes in that way in that community it's about having possessions so for me there was a lot of identification with that and identification with the vintage clothes that I wore you know having actual authentic you know exclusive designer 50s garments and stuff like that that, that you know oh, I'm, this is special because it's a, a Chanel from whatever era you know like not really sensible <laughs> a lot of the time please don't get me wrong I'm not running down people who collect stuff I, that's not the case in fact I still collect a lot of beautiful things when I have the chance and the, the finances to do so um, but when we are uh, what I'm trying to illustrate here is that we can identify who we are as human beings with our possessions and Uranus is which is not healthy let's face it and Uranus is transit through the second house illuminates that he's the great illuminator he will in a, in a detached and objective way you know sort of say really you've lost yourself who are you in the midst of all this stuff um, let's be objective let's be you know a bit rational and logical about this you are not five couches stored in your parents old farmhouse that is not you you know you are not your 1950 Pontiac you know that is not who you are so there is uh, you know a, an assessment time with this transit um, yeah like I said we learn to let go of our attachment to various things that 1950 Pontiac I did actually let go of maybe I'll put a photograph in here just for the, just for a walk down memory lane some of the stuff that we let go of here's my here's my 1951 Pontiac that I now no longer own
So that was just for a bit of fun and entertainment to throw that one in there. Um, now Uranus, um, it illuminates um, second house things. So like I said, Uranus is the illuminator and it illuminates second house issues, not just things, but issues. And, and like I've um, described, we tend to evaluate the importance of our human experience over uh, the, the importance to us of, of, our, of ownership of stuff. So what I'm saying here is ownership becomes less important for us and being a good human being, being kind, being um, loving, being supportive, being generous, that takes on a greater capacity because, well, it, it depends on what we value about people and therefore value in ourselves as a human being. So, you know, for me, valuing kindness, valuing um, love, valuing somebody who is caring, that became more important to me than ownership of stuff. And, um, you know, I still have lovely things, but uh, for me, it, it's much more important to be um, hanging out with people who are kind, who are gentle, who are caring, who are loving, rather than, oh, they've got the latest blah, they have the coolest this or that or the other, you know? So we, we lose our identification with stuff, which is a really healthy thing to do. Um, we also might be a bit less concerned with stability and security because the second house is um, not in, in this uh, upcoming transit, but in general in astrology, the second house has associations to Taurus. Taurus is very calm, very stable, very even keeled. And it likes stability and it likes security. And that's why the second house is connected to hoarding things sometimes in a chart, depending on various uh, things going on in a chart. But um, it, it, because it wants that security and stability, so um, we're going to let we're going to let go of that with this transit. We're going to let go of you know needing to be stable, needing to be secure, like me moving three times in in, in the last seven years. To some people, that that's nothing. Hell, I've moved 12 times in the last seven years or more, um, you know, but for me, that was a big thing. Um, so we let go of our security and our stability. Again, I'll give an illustration from my life. I um, lived in um, a, a very small community that I'd grown up in and, and had always lived relatively in that regional area. Yes, I'd spent uh, a couple of years in Sydney and a couple of years in Melbourne, but um, I'd always for the rest of my life live generally in the same regional area and then along comes this transit and the stability and security of being in that familial environment ended and I moved out to a city that I'd never lived in before where I knew hardly anybody I think I knew one person and their family um, and so the big change from the stability that I'd always known with this transit and we embrace things that have um, uh, the promise of reward but with risk attached so you know I moved for the sake of a, a big high-flying new job um, there was reward associated with the change and I embraced that but there was also risk like would I make new friends how would the kids go in new schools and new new environment would I find a place to rent to live like there was a risk element there um, also uh, you know uh, another thing that's occurred for me during this transit is they're walking away from corporate jobs altogether and working uh, for myself very independently. So my money is now coming through independent means rather than through uh, someone, you know, the boss paying me, which is how I'd worked all my life. And that is, let me tell you, a big 180 degree shift from everything I'd ever experienced before. I'd always been an employee and now I am my own boss. Um, very Uranus, they like to be their own boss. Uh, but um, it's also like massive change from where I started this seven year transit as an employee. Um, and, and I've come sort of seven year cycle into a position of having my own business and being my own boss. So again, big changes regarding where you source your income from and how you how you make money in the world will go through big upheaval and change. And let me say, it's been so liberating and empowering. It's not without its scariness and its risks like I'm saying here this is um the uh, the promise of reward but there's big risk associated with establishing your own uh, enterprise your own business lots of risk and lots of roller coaster like you know good one week crap the next 
um and and sort of very very volatile but that's very much the nature of uranus in the second house so all of these things have manifested for me through this transit now there can be sudden unexpected changes as i've alluded to through this whole discussion to your finances and resources in general and so you know obviously i went from a, a job that was standard and just you know getting us by to something that was far more financially empowering to losing well, that job ending and um and having to find another job that was pretty low wages just to make ends meet and then changing that to now being running my own business so um again lots of woo on the roller coaster through the second house with regard to income that can happen uh, in a big way stability goes out the window where you wherever uranus goes now obviously from this explanation you're gathering that it's not going to be a walk in the park financially or materially even uh, regarding your own self-worth it's not going to be an easy transit but no, no uranus transit ever really is but it does lead you to a place of liberation where you're like i'm never going back indeed that's that's very much the case for me i i the thought of having to be employed on a permanent basis by someone just sort of oh gives me you know, yucky shivers down my spine um so there's um there's big changes where you know wherever uranus goes he will upheave things change things and you'll never want to go back to what you were before as i said last week with when we were talking about the uranus transit to the first house um like i said won't be a walk in the park and it's not going to be peaceful times this transit it's not just put your feet up and and read a book it is you know really upheaval uh, at times but you're going to free yourself from the limitations of the material realm and so you know anything that that's holding you back in, in, materially from being authentic from being free from being lighter in the world you're going to let go of that and be able to embrace um freedom uh, liberation from that sort of stuff so it's it's, it's actually I, I um, look back at the last seven years and I think wow that was quite incredible really it wasn't I don't think I ever found it difficult um, it was just upheaval a lot and I think the more you can learn to roll with the punches in life the better off you will always be no matter who you are or what your chart is like but this is a transit for spiritual gain so valuing yourself valuing your worth knowing your worth and discovering the truth regarding material uh, the material reality and that we live in what is important you will evaluate what is important you will go deep with that and uranus will illuminate what is important to you um now it's uh it's also an opportunity for you to make money through unusual sources because uranus is unusual second house is how we make money so you might start making money through very unusual ways unexpected ways ways that you didn't even know existed um one of the jobs that i've had in the past seven years uh involved um it was in the publishing industry and it was in a realm that uh that i didn't even know was a thing really um and yeah it was quite surprising and very unusual and left and center and most people in the town where i live don't even know that this business exists so um it is through unusual kind of odd um sources of income that we can that we can generate here with uranus transiting the second house also um there can be um making of money through um like i said odd or unusual sources astrology is one of those and uranus rules astrology so for me uranus has just finished transiting through the sign of aries and i become a full-time astrologer offering um, information and services online and um this has been very unusual and left of center i certainly didn't sit at high school doing my year 12 exams thinking i'm going to be an astrologer one day on the internet to with youtube and doing um, astrology lessons for people to help them understand more like that was not part of my plan so uranus can give you you know big sort of 90 degree angle turns in life that you're not expecting in this case um regarding making money when he transits the second house um you know i'm not a mercenary person but um i, I do astrology for other reasons than making money um but that is obviously we need to 
me to eat and and I need to put my kids through school so you know it is um, it's important where we earn our money and and certainly Uranus's transit through the second house has sort of steered me away from the Pisces Piscean habit of um, thinking that we should work for nothing you know that we should do our spiritual calling in life and it shouldn't matter what you earn that's very very Pisces I might just add to be you know I'm unconcerned with the material realm and it doesn't matter and um, I am above such things so I can live on the smell of an oily rag which has probably been the reason for so many years in my life why I have accepted jobs that are lower than my qualifications would otherwise deserve. Um, so Uranus has really, uh, it's been um, a lot of insight over the last seven years as to, well, what is my, my worth regarding income and, and value in that regard? So in that sense, Uranus has sent some liberation and freedom my way uh, from the, the Piscean nature that I tend to approach things with. <laughs> I'm not quite 100% there yet, but we're, we're working on it all the time. Um, now, like I mentioned earlier on in the piece, um, there can be, um, you know, irritation. Uh, Uranus can bring irritation, and in this case, irritation regarding the lack of financial growth that um, we might be experiencing at some point in that seven year transit. It doesn't mean that you're always going to be dissatisfied with what you're earning, but at some point in that seven year transit, you might experience feeling irritated with the lack of financial opportunity. Maybe you're in a job where you just can't go any higher and you're just like, oh, I'm stuck here. You know, this is it. It's as good as it's going to get. And you feel a bit irritated about that. So then that instigates change and that's Uranus energy playing out, instigating change regarding your worth and your value. Um, like I've said as well, there can be great profit and great loss. You can go on that roller coaster. Um, and that being the case, I would highly recommend, and from my own experience, I, I uh, back this up, I highly recommend having a backup plan. So if you've got some savings or like just say you are Aries rising and you're about to go through this seven year, put aside some money, have some money in the bank, save that money aside just in case something goes haywire and you need a fallback, you know. Um, it, really that has been my lifesaver throughout this seven year transit to have been miraculously um, I, I was able to do that at one point in my life and have that sitting there as a, a buffer. So, you know, I, I highly recommend doing that. It's very, very important and it will get you through um, some of these tougher roller coaster moments in this transit. Also, you could diversify your investments. It's another good thing to do um, if you are Aries rising person about to head into this seven year transit. So you might have a bit of money in the stock exchange. You might have a bit of money tied up in some rental properties. It, you know, if you're quite entrepreneurial, maybe a small business or something. Good to have a number of different things and fingers in a few different pies. So if something goes belly up, you've got something else to fall back on. Very important because it is going to be a period of upheaval. Like I've said, I don't want to scare anyone. It for me, it was a roller coaster ride. It was upheaval, but nothing, nothing really threw me uh, in a way that I couldn't handle. So um, just know that the universe has got you back, as with all uh, Uranus transits, it, it does have you back, and it is for the purpose of freeing you. In this case, freeing you financially freeing you from the association with your possessions and any lack of self-value that you might have. So it's a really, it is actually a really good transit. I, I, yeah, I, I'd do it again, I can say with this one. <laughs> it's good. Um, but it's going to leave you with um, a new value system regarding money, regarding possessions and regarding your self-worth. So this is what you're going to come out of it at the end with. And I can just, uh, I can say unequivocally that where I am at now, well, Aries, sorry, Uranus is in Aries. Here we are. Let's make him in Aries. Finishing up for the last, the next three, uh, two months, he's finishing his transit through Aries, which is, I'm Pisces rising, so it's my second house. He's finishing that up, and I can say at this, at the end of this period, that it's it's brought me to a place I never would have expected, never would have dreamed, never would have envisioned in my life. But 
I'm so I'm so free. I'm so empowered. I feel so blessed. It hasn't been easy, but the blessing I can I can say has has certainly manifested for me. So if you're heading into this transit, don't be afraid. Just be prepared, um, and uh, know that you are going to be you know revolutionized. That's what Uranus does. He's going to revolutionize you in your relationship with your things, relationship to money, how you earn money, and how you value who you are. So get ready. It's a roller coaster of fun, um, but it's also really liberating and empowering. So thanks for joining me for this uh, second astrology lesson, and we'll have more next week when we look at Uranus through the third house.